We made it to Friday. Good morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, we have several college visits scheduled this month, and you can stay on top of upcoming college visits by checking in with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. Here's the lineup. Colorado Mesa University is scheduled for a visit this coming Wednesday, February 20th followed by the reps from Fort Hayes State on Thursday, February 21st. The reps from the Pacific Northwest College of Art haven't rescheduled their visit yet, but stay tuned. Mark your calendar for March 7th because that's when the reps from Adams State will be here. And closer to spring break, the reps from the Paul Mitchell Academy will be here on March 21st. April 17th is the scheduled date for the reps from Western Colorado University to visit with us. Remember, you need a pass to attend these college visits and you can get those passes in the Counseling Center. Seniors, listen up. If you ordered graduation announcements, from Herf Jones, you can pick them up today at lunch in the auditorium. You do need a photo ID to pick up your orders. If you cannot pick up your orders today, Mrs. Abeda and the Counseling Center will keep those for you when you return. Glad, are you a great skier or a snowboarder? Have you ever wanted to make the sport you love so much into a career? Education Adventures is looking for qualified candidates for a paid internship at some of the premier resorts around the world. The process is very selective, but it could be the dream job you've always wanted. Check in with Mr. Thiel for more information. Glad, we have a great library here at WHS and Miss HK would love to tell you more about what goes on there. In case you've never stepped foot in that area, check it out. Hi, welcome to the library. Come on in. I'd love to show you some of our new changes. One of the new things I'd like to show you is our new book section. So if you're ever interested to see what new books are coming in, come see what's on this table. Uh, this is going to be our new lookup station. There's a computer coming where you can basically just look up the uh, books that you're looking for or the topics you're looking for. We've also color coded our shelves so our fiction has the light blue. And then if you look down here, nonfiction has the white. And this is the springtime where a lot of great events are coming to the library. In February, the book fair is coming back, as well as we're offering a stream night where we're going to combine science, technology, reading, arts, mechanics, and more here in the library one night. Plus, we always do different reading contests and tutoring in the spring as well. So come on in and stop by. Uh, also during advisory, we have puzzles and coloring pages, all sorts of interesting things to do. One of the other new features is we're going to have a new lookup station with a new lookup site. One of the great things about the new lookup site is at the top where there is a search, you can put in any subject and it'll not only tell you like what books are available in this library, what uh, books are available in other libraries across the district, as well as what's available in our online encyclopedia and the database as well. So it gives you a lot of reliable resources that you can use. And what's different about it is it's able to link the online encyclopedia and the databases and our books all in one page. You don't have to go to a lot of different links. One of the things that the library is doing new this year is we're eliminating late fees. We want this library to be a student's library and so we want you to be able to have the books as long as you need them. Just when you're ready to renew or if you need more time just let us know but it'll help students know that this is the place where they can come and get the materials that they need so come on by and check us out thanks miss hk i'm sure more students will be coming your way to check out all the new materials in the library and speaking of books the book club will be meeting today in the library at lunch to discuss their latest book goodbye days by jeffrey zetner we hear this book is raising some interesting questions about personal responsibility when texting and driving. Even if you aren't in book club, consider checking out this book to read on your own. And of course, you can always come listen to their discussion before you read the book. When we return from the break, we'll have some information on stream night. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for a Gladiator Sports update with Hannah Hall. We made it to Friday, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. NJR of TC Cadets, mark this on your calendars. Next Friday is the deadline to return your outside guest forms for the military ball. The ball itself is on March 16th, and we will have more information about the dance as the time gets closer. The forensics team is headed to Liberty High School this weekend for regionals, and they are poised to earn some excellent placements. We wish them the best. In basketball news, last night was a barn burner. Although Aaliyah Ricketts was on fire, our Lady Gladiators could not find the last bit of juice to seal the deal and lost to 
the Purple School. It was a heartbreaker, but our girls did us proud. Our ladies could be traveling to a regional game next week. Stay tuned for the announcements on Tuesday for more details. On the men's side of the house, our boys continue to feed that ring of fire. The boys fought to the very last buzzer for the win over the Grizzlies last night, and it was money. Way to fight for the flagship, fellas. The boys may be hosting a regional game on Wednesday of next week, but we have to wait and see how the rankings fall. We'll be sure to keep you posted, so stay tuned. In wrestling news, our boys are on the road this weekend for their regional meet at Discovery Canyon Campus. If you can, come cheer on our wrestlers as they work their way to the state competition. Gentlemen, if you are interested in swimming or diving for WHS this year, you still have time to sign up. See Coach Wickberg in room 110 for the details. Remember, you can join the boys' swim team preseason practices next week on Tuesday and Thursday from 3.15 to 4.30 at the Community Center Pool. And now, here is Damon's Dose of Health with some great information on decluttering our lives. Take it away, Mr. Damon. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health and today is about the benefits of decluttering. We need to start with the definition. The definition of decluttering is to remove mess from a location or to organize or prioritize your belongings. Some of the benefits of decluttering. Decluttering will improve sleep. Studies show that clutter around your room affects your quality and the quantity of your sleep. Decluttering can also improve your self-esteem as clutter around you is a subconscious signal that your life is out of order. Another benefit of decluttering is it can spark the creative process. Without as much possessions or supplies to use, you have to learn to be creative and resourceful with what you have. Decluttering creates new opportunities. It allows you to remove old baggage and focus ahead on new goals. So here's some tips for decluttering. Number one, if you haven't used it or worn it in a year, you probably don't need it. Number two, keep the things that inspire you, get rid of the things that don't. And finally, number three, and I know I'm gonna sound just like your parents, but you should probably start with your room. So go and clean your room. This is Damon's Dose of Health. You guys have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Damon. Those are some great tips for cleaning up the clutter in our lives. Spring Sport Athletes, Get your yellow cards now in the main office. Practices will start the 25th of February and you must have a yellow card to practice. Also, if you need a physical to play in a spring sport, you can pick up those packets in the main office. Congratulations to the Jazz Band for earning straight ones at the Mile High Jazz Festival on Wednesday. Way to represent Whitefield. Glads, today is the last day of our Winter Homecoming Spirit Week and you all look so good in your togas. Remember, the Romans wore laurel wreaths, not hats, so you might want to put those away today. So far, the seniors and sophomores are tied for Charlie Cup point. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Hannah Hall. Remember, we do not have school on Monday for President's Day, so have a great three-day weekend. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks for the update, Hannah. Ladies, you still have time to set up an appointment to shop for dresses from Becca's Closet. Save yourself some money by seeing Miss Ford in room 122 or Miss HK in the library. The best part of the shopping trip is the dresses are free and yours to keep. Glads, the winter homecoming is tonight from 7 to 10 p.m. in Bowers. Gym. Tickets are still available for $5 in the business office, but you can buy them at the door tonight for $10. Come find out who will be crowned Winter Homecoming Royalty. All right, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu. Happy Friday! It's Friday! I can't believe it! Friday. And we have a three-day weekend. So come on down and enjoy chicken enchiladas for lunch I today. Like, I like a lot of enchilada. I like a lot of enchilada. Chicken enchilada. Chicken enchilada. Okay, and then on Tuesday when because we come back when our Sorry, you don't get to come to school. Oh, We're gonna have a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich on Tuesday. We'll see you then. Bye. Glads, remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Beth in the cafeteria or by going online. Glads, test prep sessions will start up again next week. Sign up in the library for the sessions next Thursday. Check in your classrooms for flyers with the dates and content. Juniors, today we have early lunch for winning penny wars. Teachers, remember to release your juniors five minutes early. Finally, this year, stream night will be February 21st from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the WHS building. Come check out displays in science, technology, reading, engineering, art, and more. Visitors can experience interactive stations and a scavenger hunt. Participants who finish the scavenger hunt will be entered into a contest. It should be a fun night, so you should come check it out. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Kryn McAfee. Remember, the Winter Homecoming dance is tonight. Hope to see you there. And remember, we have a three-day weekend, so stay home on Monday. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News.